Hello, my lovely Cancer Cancerians. Welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. Hope you're all feeling fantastic. Cancer, let's get straight into it, shall we? Let me clear the deck for you. Today I'll be using the Mermaid Tarot and I'll be using the clarifying, sorry, with the Pulp Girls Tarot deck. So Cancer, for this week, I want to talk about, uh, the topic is gonna to be very specific. It's you and your person. In other words, Cancer, the first person that you think about when you are watching this reading, you know, um, watching this video, then most likely this reading will be for you and for your person. This could be a friend, a family member, could be someone of romantic interest. And the type of connection you have right now, um, it actually, it doesn't really matter for now because this indeed could be someone you're dealing with now, someone with your past, or you're just wondering, you know, what's going on, what's happening. So I don't want to add really any other subtopics. So it's just you and your person, the one that is perhaps still in your in your head space, in your heart space, and whatever the cards and my spirit team would like for you, Cancer, the collective to know, let's do this. Everything you need to know. This is a really good way also to be very open um, to whatever the cards the tarot wants to say. Two more. For my lovely Cancerians, here we go. Everything and anything that Cancer should know about, please. For their highest good and always for their highest good, please. Let's do this. All right. Oh, got a highlighted message there. Upright, King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And the last one, please. Someone's ready to talk to you, Cancer. I can already see that. They may have appeared a little bit cold. It's like, where are the feelings, yeah? But they may have appeared a little bit cold um, the last conversation you had. It doesn't matter if it was last week, yesterday, you know, uh, last year or even a few years before. The King of Swords, look at that. The King is actually looking to the blade, a little bit looking to the future, and the sword is pointing up. So we do have open, honest communication coming your way. You pretty much don't have to do anything. They may reach out to you in any form like you know phone call text message facetime emails whatever usually form this person communicates they want to talk to you and they're very serious about this they really want to kind of hopefully you know crossing their fingers and toe meet you in the middle and discuss some facts here about what's what happened in the past what's happening now and how to move forward in the future Mm, okay. No wonder. I thought this was going to be a serious conversation because I actually wanted to know what is this conversation about in the overall energy? Um, yeah, the Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. So, okay, there's something here that your person may have said to you. They may have actually even done this to you all together, for example. And boy, are they suffering in silence. This is like mental torment. Guilt seeks punishment. The nights are very long for this person. And I feel like whatever they did to you, it made your nights very long as well. They could be having weird, vivid dreams, nightmares, and just, you know, it's guilt seeks punishment here as well. It's highly linked to nervous energy, anxiety, depression here as well. And it's to the point now where they're totally like, you know, kind of mentally berating themselves and just suffering in silence. It's like, you know, what? now's the time to talk. Too much time has passed or they don't want more time to pass here as well they want to see you absolutely they want to kind of be on your same page again three of pentacles that is capricorn energy and your person indeed can be any star sign but with these swords here there's been a lot of mental anguish that perhaps they've given you but now it's kind of all resting on their mind so they're really feeling it I like the Three of Pentacles. It's often known as like this perfect match or the power couple here as well. Um, and absolutely, what do they want to do? They want to be Team Cancer once more and, you know, for you to be on their team. So if they still appear a little bit cold, though, uh, when they reach out to you, that's just a front because they're really nervous about this. Um, I think they, noticed, they know how bad they, they screwed up, in other words, because I feel like they did and they said something at the same time that just completely broke you. You know, you're not broken, but it feels like in that moment we did face-to-face -face meetings. This is why they've been holding back. They know exactly, ooh. I wonder why this person did this though. We have the Eight of Swords, more Gemini energy. Your person has been holding back. Why have they been holding back? Again, that's more Gemini energy because out of fear. That's why, they're stuck in their head. They're listening to the ego, 100% not psychic. The ego says the worst of the worst, right? Um, so yeah, they're holding back out of fear. 
they don't know how you're going to react or more importantly they don't know where this conversation is going to go and i feel that what's happened here with that five of pentacles taurus energy remember your person can be any star sign not the ones that i always list say here uh, but i will list them as we go along i feel that this person pretty much abandoned you they went missing in action they left a dusty trail they could have blocked you and you reached out to them via email or phone call or text they never responded to you they could have chosen someone or something else over you and it left you feeling very unworthy for some of you because you know we've got pentacles there perhaps money could have been lost or stolen thanks to them or they're probably not doing very good with their finances here as well but i feel like they don't want you to know about that at least just yet and the hanged man there yeah, they're trying so hard to see things that's Pisces energy from different perspectives here. And I think that there requires a level of self-sacrifice before they reach out to you. And I think it's like, I'm just going to put my pride to the side. I'm going to put my fear to the side. I'm going to sacrifice looking like a fool, but I'm going to reach out here to Cancer. So I'm hearing the word resolve. In other words, they want to resolve this with you. Mm, okay. I'm also hearing that it's almost like Cancer, you know, this person needs an attitude check. It's like the way they were doing things especially towards the end, like the last time you spoke to this person, it was just not right. Let's talk about the current situation now, as it stands for the both of you. Yeah, there's gonna, they're gonna be reaching out. And if you've been thinking, I would like to reach out at least one more time, they will beat you to it. Um, the Eight of Wands is the second fastest moving energy in the entire deck. The fastest one being the Chariot, which happens to be ruled by you, Cancer. This person could also be at a distance or even interstate, overseas, We've got the mermaid arising there from the volcano and she's holding on to one of those wands, which means what? Fast, rapid movement, quick, you know, a sudden flurry of activity when things between you and your person were flatlined. In other words, it kind of felt like it died. It was dead, but no more. We've got Cupid's arrow, love messages. And of course, you know, I always say this in the most respectful, lighthearted manner. But if you do want to hear from this person, charge your phone, keep it near. It is about to light up. Now let's talk about um cancer your thoughts and feelings in regards to this connection and the person i think you still have high hopes and it's more like you're not going in with rose tinted glasses i think you just really want to work things out like an adult the empress taurus and libra energy but it's on top of your placement here and i honestly i love how this person is seeing you they hold you in high regard and you hold yourself in high regard that's not being like you know self-pretentious that's self-love that's self-respect here there could be some hot topics of pregnancy and children already involved. Doesn't matter the age. There could be adult children here as well. But this is the most abundant card. It's the most fertile card, the most creative card. Maybe some of you have been thinking, I would like to get pregnant. I would like to have a child or expand my family. More often than not, though, what's happening with you is that, yes, you're curious about giving birth to this situation once more. After all, the Empress is all about a cornucopia of blessed opportunities. And this indeed could happen after a series of conversation. Now, let's talk about your person's thoughts and feelings about you and the connection and any part they played. I took two there. Yeah, look at that. They know that they were selfish. They got too happy there with the sword and they ended up cutting themselves. They lost you and a whole lot more. Five of Swords is very strong Aquarius energy. And of course, you know, I think a person is recognizing that they may have listened to the wrong people. It's not the first time that this has been revealed in your reading. So this kind of shows that this is like oncoming. We're on the right path to getting this resolution here. You know, there could have been friends, I said friends, <laughs> friends, family, co-workers, children of different ages that may have negatively influenced your person to disappear, to pull the plug on this connection and just go MIA, missing in action. And I feel that your person is now, it's like catching up to them now, realizing that you were always giving, you never asked for anything in return. And if you did, it was always free, like a hug, for example, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or let me know when you get home safely, but they were happy to take, take, take though. Then something happened, bad influence here, you know, there could have been false rumors, accus accusations about you, all false. And even people just talking bad behind your back, intimidated by you, like you have no right to be there when you absolutely have every right to be there. Now, what is happening behind the scenes that you are not aware of, but now you are cancer? Yeah, they're planning a comeback. We have judgment, Scorpio energy. And when judgment is present, it actually speeds the pace of the rest of the card so if this is supposed to happen 
putting a number out there, three to six months, could happen in like two to four months, for example, if not sooner. This is the card that your, your person is planning what? Resurrection, bringing this back to life, opening up lines of communication, and on some level, asking you for a second chance, especially learning to trust them once more. I understand that's a lot to ask for though, but I see here that deep down inside, you are seeing the possibility here, absolutely. There's been big spiritual changes, epiphanies, like literally like your person's spirit team, they're grabbing them by the shoulder saying, you're really going to leave the empress behind regardless of your gender here this is the energy that you're portraying i love this so they are planning on making a return and they will call you first they'll beat you to it <laughs> the beating heart of your reading cancer which often does represent mutual energies or things that you can agree on is the nine of cups pisces energy now it's in the beating heart of your reading that's a big deal because it affects all the other cards right um to a massive degree it's said that when we see the nine of cups the fact that it made an appearance Pause the video, Cancer, and make a wish. A really deep wish that you can feel because it's about to come true really, really soon. Now, these are two pregnancy cards. A lot of people don't know that because the Nine of Cups, nine months, can show, you know, nine months gest gestation. I can't say that. So for those that do want children or want to get pregnant or expand the family, this is looking, two thumbs up, very favorable. Happy, healthy pregnancy and children and babies. Wonderful. But I think you can both agree here that you are each other's wish fulfillment, that when you were together, it just felt emotionally content and full. You always knew that, but now your person's like, I don't have that anymore. Now it's catching up to them. That's why with that nine of swords um, here, they're just mentally tormenting themselves. Wow. Look. What is it that you both like and need from each other? Let's see. Yep, the Hierophant, Taurus energy, number five, changes and transitions. This is commitment, it's marriage, it's doing the right, you know, it's pre pretty much doing the, the right thing here, doing right by each other, especially it's underneath your person, doing right by you. I'm really feeling that this was a very committed relationship. It was fantastic, if not married, and now it's like, well, I'm not there anymore. So again, it's really catching up to your person and not in a good way at all. Um, yeah, I almost see here that there's, I don't know who is, but I think it's your person that could be seeking spiritual advice, like from a pastor or a priest, or literally like, you know, from a, a counselor, psychologist, or talking to someone that has been there and they've done it all before. Now they want to approach you in a much more traditional way, but more reliable here as well. Nice. Let's talk about our hopes and our fears. Yep, is the Ten of Swords, Gemini energy. It is considered the worst card, but it has already happened because unfortunately it's not a nice image to look at, but the merman has been left to bleed out. Now, a big fear that you have, and I can see that, and you're, it's very warranted, is that what if your person does this again? See, this is when we hit rock bottom, right? And it's right after the Nine of Swords. It's about loss, ending, separation, divorce, and also, you know, feeling cheated by this person and betrayed. There's nothing worse when we get betrayed by the one person that we loved and the one person that we trusted the most. So where there's an ending, they want to bring this back to life. First, they need to contact you. And of course, and in your wishes, it's like, well, it's pretty simple. I wish for this to never happen again, right? It's just kind of reflecting what we feel inside. Let's talk about the near future, please. Ah, well, Okay, the Ten of Wands, the most stressful card in the deck, ruled by Sagittarius. But this is where it gets quite interesting. Each single one there represents a lesson and a challenge that both of you have learned. Now is the time to drop them, to sit up straight, put our head up, chin up, and look forward to the future because this is the end of a cycle, the Tens. We roll over to the Ace now. I can see, uh, Cancer, you're very, very busy. You may have a very hectic home life, work life here as well. Um, too many responsibilities, multiple jobs, too many projects, people giving you more work, the weight of the world on your shoulders. And I feel that this is what the person did to you. They gave you a lot of stress. To come to this point, it has not been easy. So it could be a little bit of a speed bump just to get to where, you're, you, know, where you want to be. Wow, look at that. So in the outcome, we have the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but we also have the King of Swords. So this is like the ultimate match of communication, but you're not yet on the same spread, not on the same page because this hasn't happened yet. They want to talk to you. This indeed could be, your person could be uh, actually separated, most likely divorced here as well. They tried so hard to focus on other areas of their life, but clearly that didn't work. So Spirit said to get one more to clarify. The, um, and I will be clarifying all these cards anyway. Um, the, look what you've got. You've got the star, Aquarius energy. 
It's the North Star. It's about miracles. You've got another wish card. You've got two wish cards. In fact, the Nine of Cups for me is the minor arcana of the star. It's very important now to catch ourselves when we think negative and to really not hope but believe. So your person here is thinking, wow, you know, after this conversation, after removing all this stress, they want to heal the situation, wash away all the past pain, all the past hurt. So even if you're thinking, oh, I've got some hard truths to tell this person, there is hope still. There is light at the end of the tunnel. This indeed can be healed. It's a major card of destiny. So there is a reason why, Cancer. This person is actually um, reapproaching. I split the deck. You got my favorite card. You've got the sun, Leo energy. It's the happiest card. The fact that it made an appearance you for you, Cancer, because this is your reading. You've got a happy outcome for you. Happiness is yours. One more, please. All right. Please add more for Cancer and the collective watching this. Everything and anything that Cancer should know about for their highest good, please, and always for their highest good. Three more, two more. Last one. Oh, Spirit said to get one more. Thank you. All right, here we go. What else? Overall energy is a five of wands. Leo energy. Yeah, in the I feel like in the past there was a lot of interference here. And I feel like there was a lot of clash, a lot of arguments, competition for your person's attention, people that wanted to confront your person to their face here. Way too many people. Way, it was this, I think, especially on their end, this was a very loud and noisy connection. But your person certainly does not want to fight with you. No, in fact, with the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, Taurus and Virgo, though, They've learned some massive lessons here of what? Putting their foot down, honoring this connection, protecting themselves and you as well. Um, and in turn, they want to see you face to face and they want to reconcile, meet you in the middle. The Four of Wands, Aries Energy is a beautiful card of coming back home. Metaphorically, you are home. Your heart is their home. And there are going to be other hot topics of commitment and marriage to you. And here they come. Look at that. The Lovers, Gemini Energy where the love is still mutual. We have a beautiful soulmate connection, making a decision here, because this often represents mutual energies and choices between you and your person, that now is the time to make a decision from the heart. Your intuition, what is it telling you and what is it telling your person? The King of Cups, Scorpio energy, Pisces and Cancer energy, they will be making a move. And now they've really grown up now, haven't they? The King of Cups is emotionally available, grounded, intuitive, empathetic with an E now, and very understanding. They want to give you that cup, which is their love, their heart here. Things got so out of hand behind the scenes, Cancer. Let's talk about the current situation. There's a lot of communication, and that is clarified yeah, by the Eight of Swords, they're not, they're not, I mean, listen, this is Gemini energy and none of the swords are touching this person. They can just wriggle out of this and then take the blindfold off and walk away. But this is the thing though, they've been holding back from messaging you, from contacting you because of what? Guilty conscience. We saw also the Nine of Swords, super guilty, super duper guilty, but no more because what's going to really triumph later, because that's just mental, is that they will be sending out that first message. That's a potential of the current situation. Are they afraid to? Absolutely. But they will have to face the music. They know there's no other way to get to you. You are being represented as the Empress and you are clarified as the Two of Wands, Aries energy. So I feel like deep down inside, you're not indecisive. You kind of know what to do because you're holding on to that wand. You've left this one to the side. You've got the world in your hand. And it's like, I thought with this person, do I stay? Do I go? Do I meet the middle in the middle or not? And I feel here that you will also be stepping into the unknown, kind of meeting them in the middle and taking that first step here as well. I think you're very curious to see what has happened during the time apart. And what is it that they're going to propose to you? What's this offer? Your person is coming across as the Five of Swords and that is clarified. <laughs> Look at that. So we had the Eight of Wands here and we end the line with the Eight of Wands again so that they will definitely be reaching out to you. I'm hearing the words distraught, desperation, super guilty. Like those are very low vibrational energies and that's what your person wants to talk to you about. It's going to be, I think, a very long conversation. I'm seeing two or three, like at least two conversations that are quite long where they really want to talk. They really want to work things out though. 
they're going to beat you to it. <laughs> so let's talk about judgment behind the scenes. And we have death, Scorpio energy, the card of fate. The white flower or the white rose in, represents the innocence and the purity they wish to reestablish. I like seeing the death card. Of course, there's been some major endings happening in their life. There could have been also some cycles ending in your personal life here as well. I like seeing the death card. It is the only energy where we have endings, beginnings. We have death and rebirth and what major transformation where your person is coming back as that 2.0 version, better than ever and ridding themselves of people, situation, events that will no longer serve them, that will in fact can sabotage this connection. Hmm? Now, that Nine of Cups is in the beating heart of your reading. Oh, look at that. Mutual energies as well as the Two of Cups, and that is you. That is Cancer energy. We have two souls merging together as one. It's also known, just like the Ace of Cups, as a card of true love. It's the ideal partnership, the perfect soulmate, you both wished for each other. And yes, there's been massive, you know, frictions and separation and obstacles, but it's worth it because the Two of Cups always says, don't give up just yet. Now it's not the time to walk away and give up on this person just yet. This beautiful love here, I love this. The Hierophant of what your person wants and needs from you. Yeah, look at that, the Three of Wands. Again, this is considered a very lucky card to get. Aries energy even if your person is at a distance it doesn't matter I feel here that cancer if you've been waiting for this person not obsessively but sometimes you're like it wouldn't be nice to hear from them or to reach out um, you know to see how I'm going at least open up lines of communication be friends they will be doing it but of course they're planning also on what to say wow okay and they will be reaching out metaphorically your person is the ship and they are coming in and there's pretty much no stopping them, even though they're really afraid here. So again, what do you both need from each other is to someone make the first move, which I believe will be your person. It's right underneath them. Let's talk about our hopes and our fears, which is represented as the Ten of Swords, and it's clarified by the Page of Cups. Strong Pisces energy, but this could also be for you, Cancer, and we also have uh, Scorpio. I think here a big fear that you might have is that your person hasn't changed, even though they have. I mean, they've actually got the King of Cups here um, as well. But, you know, I do feel that they were perhaps emotionally immature. They took you for granted. It's not that they did it on purpose, but there was that lack of self-awareness, that lack of character and maturity here as well. Sometimes it felt like maybe you were talking to a child. I do see that your person may have had a bit of childhood trauma where there was a lot of friction with parents or the father. I'm picking up more the father, could also be the mum. They are very creative. You know, they do a lot of stuff with their hands as well, like little parts as well. Very artistic. They love what they do, but they want to give you that message that is fueled by love. It is backed by emotions. And a fear they have is that, well, what's the point? You know, cancer will say that it's truly over, but they're still going to try. They will still try. In the near future is the time to drop those wands. Mm, five of Pentacles. Again, in the near future, I don't know how much you want to talk or are you ready to talk to this person? You may give them the cold shoulder because they gave you the five of pentacles and now they've got the five of pentacles. You know, it's almost like maybe this person came back last year um, or even the year before. You probably wouldn't have done backwards, you know, flips for them. But now I feel after this conversation, I see that there's a period of time. There will be a bit of silence between the both of you. You're not doing it on purpose. I actually think here yeah, you're just kind of thinking about, well, is this right for me? What else do I want to do? What else is out there as well? Yeah, I just feel that you're going to go a little bit missing in action as well. Um, it's not revenge. I just feel here that you're making choices. The twos are all about decisions and choices. Let's talk about the outcome. King of Wands. Yeah, okay. Leah, Aries, Sag. We're taking action. We are taking double action, the Knight of Wands. The only thing I think this person has to promise you, but also show through actions, is that they will not be in and out of your life. No more impulsivity here. No more being a player or loving to get attention and flirting with others and all that. Absolutely not, because we've got the star and we've got the queen. So they are serious about this. They will be taking action. And of course, this is my call to action night. It's my, you know, it's my traveling night here as well. It's often known as Mr. or Mrs. Right here. So I'm not really getting like full on player energy, but circumstances and changes and offers will force them to grow up, to step up and pursue you. Because I see here that the king is kind of looking to you, waiting for you. What are you going to say? They may be a bit, little bit impatient and say, 
Cancer, what's going on? Um, are we going to move forward? But the star is saying there is a huge chance. They just need to be very patient with you. But they indeed will be reaching out to you and they want to work things out. They are not giving up on you and they absolutely do want to talk about what they did to you. They want to be, in other words, they want to own it. And that I do appreciate though. I'm not excusing them though. Cancer, this is what I have for you and this specific person that you've been thinking about during this reading, watching this video. I do wish you the very best. In fact, you've got more cards for this connection rather than against it though. And if you have any challenging cards, just consider it like a a few speed bumps yeah just a little bit of obstacles nothing you can't handle right cancer for those that have not subscribed i do invite you to subscribe so you never miss an honor reading that i do for you here in australia every thursday and i absolutely love reading for you but most of all i thank you for your time because i really do want to honor it cancer i will see you in the next couple of days please take care and much love bye